What, what do you like about this fight for Edwin Rodriguez against Andre Ward? When you get an opportunity to fight the best, you got to take it. Okay. And, um, and, and, and a weird degree, the pressure's not on him. You know, he's got to go out there and perform, do the best he can, make it a fight, press the fight, press the action. You know, if he can beat Andre Ward, he's a superstar, but if he looks good, even in defeat, his stock goes up. So he's got to walk in there feeling not a lot of pressure, but he's got to go in there and he's got to lay, lay some hurt on Andre and press the action. Does Ward's shoulder surgery and layoff give you a little bit of an edge? Ward's maybe? a true professional, man. Yeah. You know, Ward's a pound-for-pound -pound guy. He's a true professional. I expect, like, no matter 14 months off, two years off, it don't matter. You know, shoulder surgery, it don't matter. I think you're going to see the best of Andre Ward. Do you feel people are kind of sleeping on, counting out Sergio Martinez too soon? Fuck people with counting out Sergio Martinez. He's one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Fuck HBO's pound for pound list for not having him on it anymore. Really? You know, Sergio Martinez is still one of the best fighters in the world. Murray was a real guy and Sergio legit beat him. Barker's a world champion. Sergio knocked him out. Macklin is one of the best middleweights in the world. Sergio knocked him out. Sergio's done everything and beaten everyone put in front of him. You know, he's 38 years old with bad knees and I gotta listen to shit about Golovkin. Fuck people who count Sergio Martinez out. Mom and all women and children. I apologize for all those F words. Okay. What, Cotto, they're talking him and Martinez. Martinez, Cotto, how, how, why do you like that for Martinez? I like it for boxing. I mean, yeah. it's a good fight. I mean, well, Martinez is really a 54 pounder who fights above his weight. And, like, you know, Cotto's an exciting guy. And, and, and that fight is going to be combustion. You know, that fight, I, I think that that for, for, is a fan friendly fight you know, between two huge names and a fight that can't be a bad fight in the rings. I like it for boxing. I like it for Sergio, but I like most fights for Sergio. Now, Golovkin, do you feel he's gotten, his hype has been a little too much for... No, man, Golovkin's real good. But like, I don't, you know, you know his star power uh, is growing, but like, he's not a pay-per-view fighter. And like, right now, Sergio's 38 years old. These guys just may not cross. And maybe they do, but if they do, it's going to be after I can make Sergio as much money as possible. So, like, I know Sergio's not going to be afraid of anybody, but I want a Cotto fight first and maybe a Canelo fight afterward. Then we'll look at Golovkin, if Sergio's you know, able to do it. I don't hear me saying anymore that Golovkin's not worthy of the biggest fights. He's worthy from a talent standpoint. But this is a business. It's about how much money you can make. And anybody who thinks that Sergio Martinez can make anywhere near as much money to fight Golovkin as, as Cotto is wrong. Cotto Martinez is a big pay-per-view fight. Cotto Golovkin's an, uh, Martinez Golovkin is an HBO fight. Okay. You know, maybe Golovkin should be looking at you know the winner of this fight.